Hello, my name is Kim Van Camp, Delta V Marketing Product Manager for Alarm Management. Welcome to this video. We'll be discussing Alarm Mosaic, one of many features for alarm management built into the Delta V system. Do you worry about the potential for an accident? Are you responsible for avoiding them? If so, you are probably also concerned about the effectiveness of your alarm management system. If you look at the layers of defense against an accident, you will observe that operator intervention is what lies between process control and a trip. In the case of all of these accidents, the operator action failed in large part due to the ineffectiveness of the alarm system. One of the problems that can happen in an alarm system is that the operator can receive a very large number of alarms in a very short period of time, and the term for that is an alarm flood. The ISA 18.2 standard prescribes rationalization as a method to eliminate alarm floods. In this process, a team analyzes all of the potential conditions that may cause an alarm flood, determines how to identify the flood, and then creates logic to suppress all but one alarm. The Delta V digital control system provides native mechanisms for implementing dynamic alarming. However, there is a problem with alarm rationalization in that as many alarm floods are just too difficult to predict. And second, many projects don't have the budget to do a comprehensive alarm rationalization. If it is not possible to eliminate every alarm flood, another layer of defense is required. Alarm Mosaic provides that mechanism, not eliminating the alarm floods, but presenting the alarm floods in a way that is not as likely to overwhelm the operator. So let's begin our demonstration of Alarm Mosaic. We're going to use a simulated process that involves a flow of crude from a charge tank to a desalter to a heater. What we're going to do is close a block valve, which should cause problems upstream and downstream, that is, an alarm flood. And we'll use that alarm flood to demonstrate the features of Alarm Mosaic. So let's begin. Our valve is now closed. In a few minutes time here, we'll have plenty of alarms. Let's just take a look at Mosaic and watch this alarm flood unfold in real time. The first thing that I'll point you to is this region here where we have two icons. These icons represent active alarms. They appear in columns where each column corresponds to a segment of time. Currently, we're looking at 15 second segments. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. And now you see that stacking and unstacking action. When you mouse hover over the alarms, you get some information about them. And if you highlight one of those alarms, you actually get a corresponding highlighting in the alarm list of all of the details relative to that alarm. You may have noticed at the top here that there are some icons. These icons, these little heads with numbers on them, represent control actions that were taken in the same time segment. One of them is already highlighted for you. When you highlight an alarm, it identifies any control actions and picks out the one that occurred just before the alarm flood occurred. In this case, looking at the control action, we see that somebody closed a block valve, which was a pretty obvious problem. It's quite typical, though, for the operator to want to first rule out operator action before going on to other possible uh, alarm cause considerations. Now that we have a good number of alarms occurring, let's try to understand a bit more about this flood, that is, this pattern of alarms. And to do that, I'm going to use this region called the characteristic filter. The first thing I'm going to do is look at how these alarms spread across my plant. And I see that six of the alarms have occurred in the tank farm, the greatest number, three in the desalter, and three in the heater. If I highlight a particular unit, in this case the tank farm, you'll get a corresponding highlighting of the alarms that occurred in the uh, iconic area here. And you'll notice that the first three alarms that occurred were in the tank farm. Quite likely the tank farm is where this problem originated. And then it propagated through the other parts of the plant. Other things that might help the operator to gain a better overall sense of what this alarm flood is all about is by looking at type. It appears that the majority of these alarms were of the low and low, low type, an indication that something was lost, a de-energization or a loss of pressure, a loss of flow, something like that. It's also possible to look at alarms 
according to process displays, according to their source, and according to their classification. So now that we have a good sense that the problem is in the tank farm and that somebody turned off a block valve, let's see what more we can have alarm mosaic show us. The first out alarm was the block valve. I'm going to right click on it to open up a context menu. And from here, I'll be able to do a number of things. One of them is alarm help. So let's open alarm help. This is where the operator can read the prepared instructions that are to be followed in the case of a alarm with that particular uh, item. And it looks like the first action recommended is to check with the outside operator to confirm that the block valve is closed. And once it's reopened, it's also letting the operator know that it will be necessary to restart the crude flow by uh, turning on a motor. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. One of the things we can do is open a control display, which we did there with the click of a button from Mosaic. So let's reopen that valve. Another action that was called for was to restart the motor. So let's restart the motor. And let's watch the alarm clear in alarm mosaic. I'll go ahead and stretch out the pattern of alarms just a little bit to uh, give you more of a sequential view. Many of the alarms are closing out, but not all. The operator might be concerned about how fast the alarms are clearing and want to understand what's happening with the remaining active alarms. So let's take a look at this particular alarm here. Open up a space plate, and we can see that the process is coming around to a normal condition, so that alarm should uh, clear relatively soon. Notice also that in addition to capturing the control actions that might have precipitated the flood, the operator's control actions, the steps he took to correct the flood, are also appearing in alarm mosaic. So you can tie together the whole thread of actions and alarms. Now that all the alarms have cleared, that is, they have gone dim, all that remains is to acknowledge them. So let's go ahead and do that from Alarm Mosaic. I'll multi-select all of them, acknowledge them in mass, and now we have a completely clear situation. Our alarm flight is over. Project yourself in time to the shift transition that's going to occur a couple hours down the road. You want to explain to your supervisor and the incoming operator what you observed during your shift. Alarm Mosaic provides an activation history view that makes that task easy. Let's go ahead and click this activation history view. What we're seeing here are the alarms reconstructed from the events that are automatically recorded in the Delta V system, complete with the ability to look at the alarm help, look at the things that you believe might have caused it, and also to discuss the control actions that you took to resolve the problem. This concludes our demonstration. I hope you can see that Alarm Mosaic has the capability to eliminate the effects of an alarm flood by making them easier for the operator to manage. For more information, contact your local Emerson representative or visit the website shown on the screen. 